Hey guys, Super Retro Kid here. I thought I'd do a video about uh, the Argon One. Uh, this is a new version of the Argon One made uh, specifically for the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, I had pre-ordered this case and it had finally showed up. So here's my Raspberry Pi 4. And I have the original version of the Argon One for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. And it's a super awesome case. So I thought that I'd get the same thing for my Raspberry Pi 4. And one of the things that I think is kind of interesting right away is on the back here, it depicts one full-size HDMI port when the Raspberry Pi 4 itself has two uh, micro HDMI ports. So I think that, I think that they had actually delayed the pre-order saying that they were going to change that one full-size HDMI to two micro HDMI. So I'm wondering if their packaging just hasn't gotten updated or if they changed their mind. Either way, I'm kind of okay with it. Like if you're using this for like a RetroPie setup, you're probably better off with one big HDMI port. But at the same time, people might do cool stuff with it. Or you might want the two micros. Like if someone does like a DS emulator or a 3DS emulator or something, you'd probably want the two HDMI. Another thing that I really love about this case is um, this case has a safe uh, safe shutdown button. So they so at least in with the original one, it came with a little script where you would just go into the terminal and type a command, and it would download a script from their website that would make it do safe shutdown. Another cool thing about the Argon One is the entire case is made out of aluminum or actually I'm not positive if it's aluminum but it's some sort of metal and the the whole case acts as a as a heat sink for the Raspberry Pi so I'm gonna try to get this thing open one-handed here which is proving difficult I don't want to wreck the case there we go Definitely a tight fit in here. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so first thing, here's my little manual. Thank you for supporting Argon. Raspendo Neo. Oh, that's actually the back of it. So this is the front. Let's see what they detail in here. So they in here they actually detail having two micro HDMI. So that's probably what they did. And then looks like there's some screws. See, and here's all the stuff about the uh, safe shutdown script. Oh, and you can also do a thing where you program the fan. You can program the fan to keep it at different temperatures and turn on when it comes on, it gets to certain temperatures. Yeah, here, the fan speed. So you can, uh, you can kind of control how fast you want the fan to spin if the noise bothers you or if you're trying to overclock you probably want it at 100 but if you're not doing something intensive you can probably get away with having it lower so let's see here so here's the argon one 
This is the top section. And these are actually like the heat sinks that will go on the uh, processor. And this must be the video chip, I'm guessing. Those actually just sit on there. And on the back here, the back of the Argon one, I do have two micro HDMI, the USB-C power. Let's see in here, here they have some screws and a couple uh, um, like conductive, uh, not thermal paste, but like conductive whatever's to put on. And then here's a little breakout board. And this board is what you use to relocate some of the stuff on the side to some of the stuff on the side to the back. So maybe I'll Oh yeah, and then up here. This is kind of cool too. If you use the IO stuff, this top piece is actually magnetic. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard to get off one handed. Let's see here. No. I should be able to do it. This top piece comes off. At least it did on the other one. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so this top piece comes off. And then they have all the GPIO pins still accessible if you want to use a Raspberry Pi hat. And they're all labeled, which is pretty nice. See, and then there's just a couple magnets on the bottom of this. So it'll lock on there. So, so far I would say this Raspberry Pi case looks just as awesome as the original. So... If someone's looking for a nice Raspberry Pi case, I would definitely recommend this Argon 1 case for the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, well the case is only like 25 bucks, so it's a pretty good value. And it's got some real heft to it, and so it's made out of strong metal. And I think it does a pretty good job of keeping it cool. Uh, the only negative... Oh, and they might have even fixed it. Let me look here. Okay, never mind. They didn't fix it. So they so the SD card is accessible in the front, and I think there's also there's also like pretty cool power LEDs and stuff in here, or or it's set up in a way where you can see the Raspberry Pi's power LEDs, which is really cool. The only negative to this is if you're running RetroPie or something with USB, it'd be nice if there was like a USB port accessible on the front, but they're only accessible on the back. But it's not a huge deal since you can use a lot of Bluetooth controllers and whatnot. I just really like this one for its build quality, its price, and how it relocates all the stuff to the back and keeps the GPIO port pins accessible. So I would definitely recommend this case. I guarantee you it's the best case for the Raspberry Pi 4 so far. I mean, it just it really shows how mature this Raspberry Pi stuff is. So this is Super Retrocade. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.